Here's what's gonna happen, okay? You're not gonna tell anyone about Mr. Andrews. Oh, one more thing. Let's get rid of these, shall we? Robin is incredibly good at her job. Are you okay? Good. That's for getting sick on my dress. In each episode, she's sort of solving an issue, solving a problem with one of her celebrities. How many other women are gonna be making calls? She's like a superhero saving the world. She won't let you in. She wants a divorce. How did you get in? Bathroom window? You broke into my house. She has this incredible skill set of being able to lie and manipulate people. I want a cookbook. I don't want to do street life. She is street smart, being able to assess a situation and figure out what the best possible way to get out of it is. What about a sex tape? It's well shot, intended for private use, grown up, sophisticated. Think Madonna. Old Madonna, not old Madonna. The whole team really solve things by any means necessary. If they need to sleep their way there, lie their way there, they'll get the job done one way or another. What's on the computer, Calvin? Robin has a conscience. There's moments when she tries to sort of question what it is that she does. How not good? Really not good ones, Robin. OK, fine, it's going to be fine. You know, she thrives on being in a crisis. I have a book launch in three weeks, not to mention my Garnier deal. And that's the thing that she's addicted to. She gets off on it. It's a high. The cameras are on you. It keeps on you. It's exhilarating to feel like, oh, that whole thing that you're watching and you're seeing it play out and you think that just spontaneously happens. Like, I created that. I engineered all of that. And I think there's a power, whether it's real or not, that she feels to being able to control the world around her. The first openly gay premiership football player. Even though she herself is massively out of control. The adrenaline kind of disappears and she goes back to normal life. It's not enough. Robin. Tom's a recovering addict. Robin meets him at an NA meeting. Thank you. There's a, an affinity there. She is very troubled, complicated. I mean, we meet Robin on the anniversary of her mother's death. These are girls from a family that's gone through a really massive trauma. She was a woman who had a lot of her own demons and had addiction issues herself and ended up taking her own life. Robin is really scared that somewhere underneath it all that she's just like her mum. She does have this incredibly self-destructive streak. She's hurting. She is already in a very dark place. And there's a lot of denial on Ruth's part because she has to assume that Robin is different for as long as she possibly can. The arc is leading toward this kind of existential crisis in her life of who is she and what is she doing and why is she doing it? Should she be settling down and having babies like she's told she should be doing or should she be pursuing a career? Can she have both? But apparently your fertile window is closing. There is a version of Robin's life where she and Sam actually could very happily sort of settle down, start a family, she'd keep working and she'd kind of get her shit together. He tries to be quite tolerant and quite patient and tries to be understanding. It's just that he's sort of ready to leave the party a bit sooner than she is. The audience, they know a lot more than Sam knows, keeping secrets and so on. And then she's come home to me and she's acting like everything's fine. And you're like, what are you doing? Why are you ruining this? She does end up in some pretty awful situations, some of which are her own doing. And that's obviously someone who is psychologically really, really messed up. Robin is probably a culmination of many wonderful, brilliant, complicated, fascinating women who I have known in my life. There's probably a lot of me in there as well. She's got huge power as an actress and she's incredibly subtle and real. Well, she's just really good. Sort of vulnerable and funny and crazy and all those things that her part involves. You can sort of see it fl sort of flutter across her face. I can't tell when they're worse when they win or when they lose. Win, definitely. Take some feel invincible. I mean, Anna has this incredible inner strength and sort of energy to her. I've never seen anybody on set work with the precision, immersive concentration that she does. It's, it's incredible to watch. She's an incredibly inspiring actress. When she's not on camera, sometimes even when she's on camera, she's also producing as well. I veer towards darker material. That's my, my taste. In this case, it also is dark material with really dark, wicked, awesome humor. So that makes it a little less just sort of staring into the abyss. Uh, but this is kind of my, that's, the dark place is kind of my comfortable place, so.